ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your always great support. I want to say this as I start this video. The politics of the Republic of Kenya is going to change once and for all. My reason being, according to my observation from Uhuru Park, this movement is unstoppable. I know some people are still asking themselves or they are doubting themselves. Is this movement of Gen Z going to change the narrative in this Republic of Kenya? I want to tell you today, if you doubt it, stop doubting this movement. It's a movement that cannot be stopped. It's a movement that even the government of William Samoy Ruto is worried about. Today, as I was just attending the memorial concert at Uhuru Park, I want you to watch the videos that I have for you, where young youths, they are no longer talking about now the finance bill. They are interrogating this government bit by bit. And they don't want any excuse. Ruto must go. And despite of their requirements about dissolving the cabinet, sending some corrupt government officials, it has been a nightmare where William Ruto is unable to do it, now the young Jesus are coming out to say that we have remind, we have told him that we don't want this cabinet. We don't want corrupt cabinet, uh, of course, we don't want corrupt individuals in this government, but William Samuel Ruto is still defending these individuals. I want you to watch the videos, but before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, ensure you like the video. I have realized that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch, and you forget liking the video. So just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. Thank you so much for that like. Let us watch the videos that uh, I recorded from Uhuru Park. <laughs> the videos from Uhuru Park, it is clear that this government and the movement is going to be so little that now other generation are now joining the movement. It is no longer about now the Joneses alone. It is now a fight that is now involving everyone across the Republic of Kenya. This is not about the tribal politics. It is not about a certain region. It is about the government of the day that is unable to do what they promised Kenyans. At the same time, I want you to look at the picture that is coming across the Republic of Kenya. Leave alone now or back. There are those individuals who, of course, are willing to join the movement. But because physically they cannot join either through prayers or they, they of course, push the movement to go. Because this is a fight that they have been fighting for a long period of time. Look at the era of Moi. We came to the government of Mwai Kibaki. We came to the government of Uru Mege Kenyatta. And now we are in the government of William Samuel Ruto. So whatever is happening now is not about Rai Udinga. It's not about the Azimio. It is about this Kenya Kwanza government. Ikiburi yao inazaisha haji. And the way this kiburi inaenda kuisha, it is in a way that now the young youths are going to have their votes. And by having their votes, the movement is going to continue and we are going to mobilize, mobilize ourselves. Those who never voted for the other, uh, last election, we are going to ensure they have votes. And their votes must change the narrative in this Republic of Kenya. It is not going to be about talks. It is going to be action. 
We push this movement and this government into a tight corner. We ensure that next general election, before we approach the ne next general election, we are going to ensure a bigger percentage of young youths are going to have IDs. By having IDs, they register as voters. And by registering as voters, they go mobilize themselves, ensure that impunity is going to be crafted off from this country once and for all. I've seen this movement is now escalating across Africa, it is moving fast like a bushfire. And it is not going to be easy for those presidents who are feeling like they want to be dictators, they want to rule our African countries in their favor. It is not about serving their interest. It is about the issue that affects the people. Can we speak about the promises this man promised Kenyans? But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to watch this video. Let me continue. So remember, when I was just looking at the body language, personally and physically at Uru Park, I realized number one, the finance bill was the test for William Ruto, and it was final. Number two, we are now going to second phase. Second phase is to ensure that William Ruto must dissolve his government, his, not government, his cabinet. His cabinet, he must dissolve and have another, in, uh, another cabinet with several new individuals. Number two, we told him that the budget, lazimi katwe, zile ma expenditures in yasi muhimu, ito lewe. Excess traveling, ito lewe. Mufis is a first lady, second lady, third lady, ito lewe. Na vitu kada hapo, yenye haifai. Number three, the members of parliament must serve the interests of the people, not the interest of William Samuel Ruto. Number five, the independent institutions must be independent, the way I've said it, independent institutions. The judiciary must be independent. The legislature must be independent. The police must be independent. DCI must be independent. ESCC must be independent. That is it. If this is going to fail, which the ultimatums are there, then we are going to reach the third phase. The third phase, the, the third phase is going to ensure that William Ruto is going to exit, exit together with these colonies. They must go. It is not going to be easy for, for William Ruto. And if he managed to craft all things and he bear and bow down and do whatever the people are requesting for, then we are going to have fourth phase. And we are going to send William Ruto 2027 home. How is he going to be sent home? These Gen Z's who are moving and having this movement, they must have votes. They must have votes. And these votes, joined with other individuals who do not believe in William Ruto's ideologies and policies, we are going to ensure that we rally behind someone who will understand the issues of the people. So the movement is so little that it is not about again the finance bill. That was the first test. We are in the second test. We'll be in third and fourth. Fourth test, it is going to be about 2027. And this man is going to go. I'm assuring you that. 
because the movement is just it is peaceful and William Ruto is going to find himself home 2027 if he managed to survive this movement. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.